Hi, this is James Ward from wardnet.com and today I'm going to give you a quick run through of how to migrate a Drupal 6 site from a single site install to a multi-site install. Uh, to get started, I've got a clean download of Drupal 6.25. Uh, the site's being moved from Drupal 6.22, so this will also be a Drupal core update. Uh, and I've got a backup download of the libraries, modules, and themes directories of my site as well as a backup and migrate uh, SQL dump of the site database and a backup and migrate files tar of the files directory. Uh, so to get things started I'm going to set up my multi-site install. So in the Drupal root directory under defaults just copy the default settings.php and create our new multi-site directory. Uh, if you've set up multi-site before, this is pretty standard stuff. But worth going through again for some folks, I'm sure. And then just rename this settings.php, and it'll be ready to prompt me for my new site when I browse to that directory. Uh, I'm going to go in and cop, go ahead and copy in all the rest of the stuff I need for my multi-site first. Uh, so my libraries, my modules, and my themes. Copy those into my new wardnet.com directory. And while that's copying, I'm going to extract my backup and migrate files directory and copy that into my wardnet.com directory. And we should be all set. I'm using MAMP Pro for my server. It's fine if you're using the free version of MAMP, it just makes it a little harder to set up these local uh, sites. So I'm going to set up a new local site for local wordnet.com and for the dislocation of the site this is basically like your htdocs your root directory I'm going to use that clean Drupal 6.25 install as the root directory important to use this directory and not the site slash wordnet directory it's a common mistake for people getting started with uh, multi-site installs and why didn't that apply let me just stop and restart my server. Just to be sure. Okay, looks like it got all that. And I turned on local name resolution, so this local.wardnet.com should work for my new site install. So let's test that out. So local.wardnet.com, and it's detecting that there's a new Drupal installation here. I'll just install in English. Oh, forgot to create a database. Let's go do that. Uh, again, pretty easy in uh, MAMP Pro. I'll just go to phpMyAdmin. I'll call this multi-site demo. Let's run that before. Create a new database. And now let's try local.wordnet.com. Install Drupal in English. <clears throat> database name, multi-site demo. My database password. Beautiful. All right, not much of this stuff matters because it's going to be overwritten when we um, pull in the backup and migrate um, restore. But I'll just fill this out with garbage info so we can get past it. Save and continue. And we have a new site. Perfect. I'm uh, going to administer. And because I copied over my modules first, I should just be able to enable backup and migrate right away. There it is, backup and migrate. We just need regular backup and migrate. We don't need the files because we extracted and copied them in. And now I should be able to restore my database, which will probably break everything, but that's kind of part of the process. And we're in a backup. There's my MySQL backup and migrate database. And restore now. <clears throat> Okay, white screen of death, very common. Um, always a couple things worth trying. First step, and usually worth a try, is uh, to just run an update.php. Uh, I am trying to do a Drupal version upgrade on this, so this could be part of the problem. But more often than not, it's because the modules directories aren't where the system expects them to be.
So we'll just run through the update and see if it fixes any of this. Let's go back to our admin pages and see how broken things are. It's taking a while to load for the first time. Uh, so the get ID3 module isn't where it's expected to be. Uh, there are security updates for some of my themes and my theme definitely looks completely broken. So let's try and fix some of these issues. I do have my admin menu at the back, which is nice. Uh, so let's do a theme listing, see if we can find these. <clears throat> so I need Fusion Core enabled and Fusion.wordnet as my main theme and save that configuration and see if we can get some of this theming back. That's starting to look like something. Um, I should really shut off LastPass when I do this in the future, sorry about that. And so our other reports are no information, pretty standard stuff, but if I go to the home page, okay, now we're getting somewhere. So the site is there and images are broken all over the place. So let's see our site information um, file system. So we moved some files around. So first of all, let's make sure this is right. And it is. Sites slash wordnet.com slash files is correct. Everything here is right, but the problem is uh, things have been stored in the database with a different path. Uh, so when we browse to our homepage, We've got no images on my views rotator, and which is seems to be kind of messing up the whole slider setup, and then no images for any of my thumbnail images as well. And I'm sure if I went to articles that had images in them, uh, those would be broken too, although I'm not sure that I actually have any articles that have images embedded in them. So the problem is a database one, and this isn't something that we can just fix um, from the Drupal interface. So the easy way to see what's actually wrong here uh, is to do a quick grep of that MySQL file that we copied over. Uh, so I'm going to browse to that backup. Uh, it was on my desktop. Backup. Uh, and if I do a grep count of, so the what you want in here is the previous path, what the files would have been under on the old server and I know on my old one they were uh, well the easiest thing is to just look for default slash files because that is no longer the path uh, where your files are located and let me look at my actual name of my backup file here so I'm gonna grab through this this uh, MySQL uh, backup and migrate file to see how many occurrences there are of this default files which I know is wrong uh, so it's 3-08. So we have seven occurrences. Um, if I just do grep, grep without the count, then it'll just spit it all out. And we can maybe figure out where some of those occurrences are. Now, having done this before, I can tell you more often than not, uh, it's in a node content body or in uh, sites files tend to be the two main places. So you can see them here, sites, default, files, image cache. Uh, that's obviously not where my image cache files should be, uh, so we need to fix that. And I might be able to fix some of it by flushing image cache. Let's give that a try um, and see if it figures out where those should be. And where is image cache? There it is. <coughs> Go through and flush some of these and see what we get. Might as well just flush everything. A lot of this stuff can be done faster using Drush, but I wanted to try and do it in as graphical a way as possible. <coughs> Since some hosts won't give you access to Drush for these. And let's browse back to the home page. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, didn't help at all. All right, so let's look at the database. So we'll 
click on our site now, this should have all kinds of stuff. So sites, files, and it's browsing here. So you can see these file paths don't exist because everything should now be site slash wardnet slash files, wardnet.com slash files. So we can run a little update and I've got a file that I've created just for this purpose because I've run it on some sites in the past. I'll bring that over. And this is a few common places where you'd see problems. You can see node revisions body is very common for embedded files, but what I'm looking at on this site is file path being incorrect uh, on the files table. So I'm going to copy out this little piece of code and I'll include this in the blog post I put out with this demo. And go back to our PHP my admin and we'll run a bit of SQL here. I'm going to tag this, tap this in at the end and work my way backwards here. So we want to set file path and we're going to replace site slash default slash files with sites slash wordnet.com slash files and run that. Oh, I got an error. What did I do wrong? What is wrong with my syntax? Oh, it's select star. <laughs> well, you need this to say update. That's what I get for using what was there to begin with. Uh, so update files set file path equals to replace the file path wherever there's an occurrence of site slash default slash files with site slash wordnet.com slash files. Good. There we go. 17 rows affected. So our grep wasn't entirely accurate. There must have been more occurrences than that. I must have put something too specific in grep for it to catch all the errors. Uh, so let's go back to our site. Last pass out of the way, flush all our caches, and reload this page and see what we get. Ho oh, ho, images, we're in business. Okay, um, if I head over to my blog, my thumbnails are back. If I read more, my thumbnails are back in here as well. And everything looks to be working. I'll rerun my grep to see if I missed any. Do another grep count. So grep-c for default files, oh sorry, I can't do a grep count, I need to back up the database again so I can get the whole database into one file. I'm just going to back it up to download even though it's all happening locally anyway. I will grab that and copy it over to the directory I was already working in. Switch to terminal. And so my new file is, what do we got here? 16t16-18 is my SQL. All right, zero occurrences of default slash files in the MySQL. Uh, so the site is done. Now for some other sites that have a lot of embedded content, you're gonna have to replace in a few different pla uh, places. Uh, node revisions, body, uh, the natural tendency is to try to just look in the node uh, table, but everything's a revision for most D6 setups. Uh, another place, that you might be finding site slash default slash files is uh, in your user's uh, picture table as well, if you allow users to upload pictures. Those are a few common ones that I've run into with other sites that I've migrated over. But the easiest thing to do is to just keep uh, running a backup of the full MySQL of the site and then grepping through it to look for any more occurrences of that. Uh, you can also run into issues with subdirectories if you have a site running example.com slash Drupal. Um, you should also grep to find any occurrences of that because you're going to need to pull those back up for your multi-site install. 
Uh, so I think that's it. We can go through and upgrade modules. It, the basic rule is if you decide to move a module from the single site install where it's in sites uh, slash all slash modules and you want to move it up to be uh, into from the site directory into the site name like wordnet.com slash modules, just run update.php and it'll pick the top level. Uh, so if you decide to move some of the modules to be shared among multi-site installs, just move them into the uh, sites all, run update.php, and it should start to find that one. Uh, I think that's it for this time. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you next time.